Hey, Tom, this guy over here is saying he's illiterate. Doesn't that mean he can't read? No, that's illiterate. I don't know what illiterate means. Ah, allow an admirable and literate ample audition before brazenly bashing crucial complicated code complementing capacity. Don't derive dangerous deliberation or decide disingenuously either and treat effectively or fall furious for fraternizing fallaciously. Good gentlemen, get greedy guessing how hampered, haunted, hollow in this harangue am I. Interesting, isn't it? Indeed. Just a jumbled jab juxtaposing the kindness and killing key lore. Little lapses let me make more meaning known now, not needing to kneel over or obey ominous portents, perhaps preferring platitudes, queer and quiet questions, ready to rain regal over rationality. So something simple supersedes the smart, the total toil to tell tall tales threatening this telling. Understand, until ubiquitous utterances vanish voraciously, veering violently will it wear wheels wide, xylophone xerox, you youngsters yell, yet zip zealous to the zenith. Zoom. Oh, I get it. You're using the technique of alliteration to tell us what it means that you're illiterate. However, illiterate isn't a noun, it's a verb, so really you're just fucking with us. Yeah, what he said. You're fucking with us, you fruity fucker. Also, at one point in your little romp there, you coughed and said xylophone and, and Xerox. I assume you were attempted to go through the entire alphabet a few words at a time, but in the end it just makes you look like a pompous prick. You're going to beat the buttons off of me, aren't you? Belligerently. Temer no tsukeba. Kane de wa